So I told you guys that I'll give you an update on the um, butternut squash, also known as the struggernut squash, courtesy of Mr. Francis Chambers. This is a very small butternut, but I'm happy it grew into something because a, a lot of people who I was following, um, they they it wasn't it wasn't successful for them this year. So I'm going to try again next year. I'm going to do some things a bit different and I'll show you the process when I get down to it. But I think this is ready to harvest. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to eat it because it's, it's so small. It's tiny. Look at that. So, just a quick update. I'm going to... I don't know what I'll do with it, really, but here we go. These are the things I'm overwintering. So I've got some beetroot down, some spring onion, and I've got another struggling. <laughs> I've got another struggling um, veg. This is swede. The caterpillars started getting to it, so I had to. Um, I had to, unfortunately. Um, destroy them <laughs> that's how no okay I, I I didn't destroy them I removed I removed the leaf that they had taken over and I planted them out I put the leaf elsewhere so they can enjoy that one leaf but they're not getting the whole plant so I'm gonna see how these go um, my spring onions they look okay they don't none of these look sexy but I think they will taste very good and <laughs> when they're ready um, these are beetroots they're still small um, I'm not quite sure when they're meant to be ready but I, I believe they'll be ready in spring or really early spring and I so let me know what you're overwintering. I know some people are planting salads. Um, they've got their Swiss chards and those leafy type of veg. Uh, maybe I'll try that next year. Let me know what you're planting. That's the excuse the noise. Um, these are what the, I think this one's a garlic. This one's an onion. Um, these are what the onions are looking like. Um, this one I guess is another onion yep the reason why they are some are clustered together and there's holes in the mud is because there's something that's that keeps them digging them up so if you can see here there's two garlic cloves right next to each other because we've had a pest problem and I, I just don't know how to get rid of it I don't know what it is um, maybe a fox maybe something else but um, they were disrupting disrupting the um, veg every day um, especially when they were first planted but now they seem to have settled down a bit so I don't have to come here come out every day and um, reposition the, the dirt and everything like that so this is what they look like in January and I think they're doing pretty well. Um, over winter I've kept this kind of mesh on top of these and I'm surprised that it survived through snow and everything. Um, the fleece has stopped like the snow and that getting to um, the beetroot and that it's still a bit icy on the soil but I'm surprised that they're still alive um, what was that again? I can't even remember what that one was oh it was Swede um, the Swede, it looks like it started to grow again but I don't know how long that would take it's, I think the cold weather is impacting its actual growth but um, I'm I'm happy with it so far. So you can, I, I thought it wouldn't survive over winter because uh, I didn't have a greenhouse and it's, and it's been open to the elements, but it's doing well with just this little fruit, um, fleece, keeping it from the 
heavy frost. Here's another update on the garlic and the onions. As you can see, there's been hole, holes have been dug into it. Um, the soil is completely frozen at the moment, so I can't even reposition it. So it's kind of exposing. Wait, let's focus that. It's exposing the onion there. Um, I think when it gets a bit warmer, I'll try and cover it so it doesn't damage it. And it's exposing the roots. You can see these these white bits here. Whatever's digging them up, I just. They're doing a madness to be honest, I don't know what it is. And they must have big old claws to even scrape through this frozen dirt because it's actually, it's rock hard. Oh uh, yeah, this is a peg that I'm using to hold down um, the fleece for my beetroot and um, those up at the top of my garden by the way. But yeah, this is Oh, they're doing well. They're quite high actually. So here's your update. Happy growing guys. See you next time. Bye.